guys, my name is Tyler and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. My next review I'm going to be talking about on PlayStation, we will be talking about Naughty Dog's second Uncharted game, titled Among Thieves of course, starring Nathan Drake, the one and only protagonist that is, you know, as woody as ever. This game is quite amazing, to be honest with you. It has some, it has some of the greatest action scenes I've seen in the video game. Very well done, and we're going to talk about it here in this review. This review is going to be based on the campaign only, not counting any multiplayer modes and not counting any DLC that's added later on. Just the campaign itself, so let's get into it. Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. For starters, yes, this is a sequel to the first game, Drake's Fortune, but I'm not, I'm not going to be reviewing that one just because I didn't get any footage for it, and the second one is mostly what people consider to be the best one, so I thought, why not skip one for now? Anyways, this game's story starts off pretty simple. It's about, you know, Nathan Drake going on an adventure to find it, the Chintamani Stone, which is a certain stone, or, spoiler alert, a tr part of tree sap that turns people almost immortal. And the story in this game is not the best part of it. It's a little cliche, and it's your typical action thing. Tomb Raider, for example, has a way better story, but this game also has way better action scenes in it, almost like a movie in a way, like a really good action movie. That's why I think it's a little higher up on that scale. Um, the gameplay is probably the worst part about this game for sure, though. It's very bogged down with simplistic shooting and cover mechanics that get a little annoying as you play and play and play for the six-hour runtime of the campaign. Um... I found myself a little bored shooting through a whole bunch of bad guys because while it's fun to get into, you know, hand-on-hand -hand gunfights with these people, it gets a little boring. And as it is in the first game as well, it just drags on for way too long. A big highlight, though, of this game, I will say, is the acting and character development. Harry Flynn, the villain of the game, I guess you could say, is a little cliche, but Nathan Drake still comes off as a very charming and likable protagonist, same as his counterpart, Elena, and also Chloe. The story doesn't really drag on too much. I mean, like I said, it isn't the best thing in the game, but the gameplay is definitely the worst part for sure. The ending, though, the boss fight is another highlight, I will say, and the train scene is amazing, and so is the opening as well. Those scenes especially stand out in a game that's already filled with a lot of them to begin with. <laughs> Shit. Coming into the verdict of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, I think I'm going to go with a 91 out of 100. This game is, you know, already better than the first game. It has some great scenes in it, great character. The gameplay, I said, is very bogged down with simplistic stuff like the shooting and the covers and whatnot. But with the acting, the action, and all that jazz, a 91 out of 100 is very generous, I think, for a sequel to a series I already beloved. And I'm just not getting into it, and I can already say I'm a big fan of this one. I can't wait to see what the third one has in store for us. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.